It's Michael here with Home Health Success Academy and welcome to another one of our marketing video series. In this video series, we're going to be talking about how online marketing has helped us gain approximately around 43% of our referrals on a monthly basis is coming in through online marketing. That's right, online marketing. So this is going to be a three-part video series. In this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook and then moving on later on, we're going to talk about YouTube as well as Google, right? So let's talk about Facebook. You guys are probably wondering, Michael, what are you talking about? You can get home care, non-medical, private duty patients in Facebook? Yes, you can, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna detail this to you guys in this particular video on how we kind of take advantage of this, right? So Facebook, if you're not aware, more than likely you've been hiding under the rock. You should know what Facebook is. More than likely you have a Facebook account, maybe even a couple. And at the very same time as if you are, you know, these are things that were said by people that maybe like 15 years ago when Facebook was, was first beginning, a lot of people said, well, that's for the children. That's for the kids. We're not going to be joining that. Well, guess what, guys? It has matured already. And the fastest growing demographic, so people that are actually joining Facebook are people 65 years and up. That right there is a true fact within the Facebook community. So you guys have to understand that. So grandparents, our parents are in Facebook now. Why? Because grandparents and parents will follow where their children goes, where the grandkids are, right? So that's where Facebook is. And so you can take advantage of Facebook with your marketing strategies. So if you go through your Facebook feed and you go through your scrolls, you're actually going to be noticing that there's going to be some ads there. There's going to be sponsored ads. You know, if you're looking through your laptop, you're going to see that there's the main feed in the middle and the right side, there's additional ads as well. But mainly we want to just concentrate on the mobile part of things, right? Because that's really where you want to be able to concentrate your marketing because most people nowadays are on their mobile phone and not on a laptop or a PC. So how do we do Facebook ads? If you're not aware, Facebook has what they call an ads manager where you can actually post your own ads, right? And so the way to do it is in a variety of different things. First things first, if by now your company does not have what we call a Facebook business page, then I would think really clearly and make sure that you guys have one of those. So I'm going to share with you guys what we do with Facebook a little bit so that you guys are aware. So let's just talk about our Facebook business page, right? When we have our Facebook business page, we make sure that we're posting about five to six times every day, posting every day, right? A lot of people will say, well, I don't know what to post. Well, that's what we do. We actually have a social media management uh, section of our uh, consulting company and we actually help a lot of agencies do their social media because they don't know how to do that just because you know some young kid or some young person working for you you're just you're not going to just tell them hey start doing posting for us there is a strategy involved with the facebook stuff right so what we make sure is when we're posting things in facebook we are actually number one okay number one is we're putting educational content in there we're putting advertisings in there some some teaching materials in there just a bunch of different things or even just basic memes. And also we also put photos and videos of some of our clients that we're taking care of to show people, you know, that, hey, we are taking care of people and this is something that we maximize. Now, organic growth within Facebook um, is not really where it's at. It's about the advertising, right? So just because you're posting things, it's not about the people that are liking because most of the time people that are liking your Facebook page in the beginning, are your employees. Now that is important that you should have that, but what you need to do is you need to target the people that you are trying to go after, all right? And so how you do that? You run Facebook ads. So there's a thing things called ads manager and you have to create an ads manager once you have a Facebook business page. And what we do is we we post several ads that gains people and we can actually use the ads and target the right people that we want. How do we target them? We look at, you know, what's their, you know, yearly income? Because, you know, there's no sense targeting people that maybe cannot afford the services that we're trying to do, right? So we're going to target the people that has a certain income. You can do that within Facebook. The next thing is we can target demographics in regards to their age, right? So we're going to be targeting people over the age of 60, right? That's one of our main goals if we're going after the patients directly. Number three also is we can target specifically which location, which area, which city. So I can say, Let's target Chicago and I want to be able to concentrate, you know, 20 or 15 miles surrounding the Chicago or a certain point. I can literally say I can put a pointer right on, let's say if we're in Chicago, right on Wrigley Fields, the Cubs hometown, the Cubs, you know, place where they play, right? The baseball, uh, the baseball team, if you're not aware. 
So I can pinpoint that and I can say, I would like to take care or find patients around 15 to 20 miles surrounding that the Wrigley Field area. So then we can target ads specific to them. But the ads that you need to put is you can't just do what everybody's going to do. They're going to put, hi, this is a photo of our company, our logo, and then we provide home care services, blah, 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 line by line. Give us a call right now. You can't do that. Right. We actually teach you guys when you're marketing into facilities going in, stop doing the whole thing of saying this is what we do. You be you need to be able to detail the, the marketing strategy directly to the person that's in front who's reading it. So what we're going to do is we want to first kind of just get them to come into our site. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do something like five tips on how to prevent your mom to go into the hospital. And then we're going to have some teaching materials in there. So, you know, when, when somebody's searching, when we target a certain demographics and age, they see that and say, a six year old is going to say, well, my mom, who's 80 years old, well, you know, I don't want her to go to the hospital. So she may click into that. And when she clicks into that, then it brings it into what we call a, you know, a landing page or a catch page. So if they want, for example, if you want this information, go ahead and enter your email or click yes, and we're going to forward this to you. So you can set it up where they automatically get added to your email list or you, they automatically get the information right there. But then you do what we call an upsell. You say, hey, by the way, if you want to speak to one of us a little bit more about our services, please let us know this is what we do. And so that is one strategy, uh, let's say, for example, within Facebook. Another thing that we do is we have what we call medication reminder program. Hey, you know what? One of the biggest reasons a patient goes in the hospital because they're not they're not compliant with their medication. If you want, we're giving away a 30 day free trial or a 30 day free service of us reminding your loved one to take their medications on a daily basis. Right. So we're going to use that strategy. And then when they click into that because they're, oh, I want my mom to be reminded to take their medications because I can't call my mom all the time. They're going to click in. They want to try that 30 day trial. And then you then say, all right, perfect. It, but you're only going to offer it to the first 27 people that actually signs up right now. So the fact that we know how much the person's making, which we targeted, the fact that we know what their age is, the fact that we know where they live, then we know that this could be a potential person. So when they land into that, for them to sign up for that, to get that first, the first 27 vouchers that we say we're going to be doing, what ends up happening is we know that this could be a potential client. So when we speak to them, when we call them, when we sign them up for this, we start asking them questions and start generating it. Just because, you know, if you do that long enough, you do that more enough, that's going to increase the chances of you getting more people into board compared to you just spitting out an advertising and say, we offer home care services, blah, 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 blah. That right there is going to push somebody away. You want to educate people. They end up in your sites. They may go back into your Facebook page like that. And then that's going to be amazing. Now, what you can also do within Facebook is you can tell Facebook, hey, I want to do some advertising really fast. I want to target the people that actually like my page as well. So then once you have a steady amount of people that has liked your page, you can target them directly yourself. Or what you can also do is say, hey, Facebook, I would like to target people that um, like these particular things. So I'm going to look at people that has liked the Alzheimer's Association. I'm going to like I'm going to go ahead and target um you know, an area where they maybe like, for example, another home care company or a certain person that talks about, you know, in the media that talks about home care services. So those are little things that you can do within Facebook. Another thing that you can do within Facebook that we do a lot is that, you know, when we take these clients, you know, when we do one of those offers and they go to the landing page, right? We, you can do what this thing, these thing called Facebook pixels. We can put in a pixel in that website so that it triggers that. So what we can then do is we can say whoever hits that pixel, whoever goes into that site, we want you to push automatically this advertising to them, right? So what ends up happening is they go back to their Facebook page, page later on and they're going to see, hey, it looks like you were looking about, you know, we're creating a video, a, a quick explainer video saying, hey, it looks like that you were interested in this. You know, by the way, since you're interested in this, we, almost, we also want to explain this to you. You know, just making all these different strategies in there. Right. And you can do what they call retargeting. Just keep on retargeting them. Facebook is a great place for you guys to be able to start looking into into doing your marketing. And actually, this is something that we do us ourselves. If you want us to do your Facebook marketing for you, please reach out to us. That's our main goal. But if not, listen, you have two choices here. Actually, three to be exact. Number one, you don't have to do Facebook at all. That's your choice. 
You don't even have to do it at all. Go ahead and not do it if you don't want to. Number two, you can actually spend thousands of dollars, spend lots of hours trying to learn the different techniques and what to do, how to do some posting, take some classes, Facebook marketing classes that are worth thousands of dollars there, do all that and do what they call the trial and error. Or three, contact us and we can also help you with it. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you guys one thing, I did number two because around my time when I started doing Facebook marketing for my companies, nobody was out there teaching about Facebook marketing. So I had to learn from scratch. I had to hire people, pay thousands of dollars for people to do this for me and eventually try to figure out which one works. So that's, those are the choices that you can, you can do. It's up to you guys. But here's the thing. I would rather you do the second choice or the third choice. Because guess what, guys? Look what happened to the whole COVID thing. When COVID hit, when we were not allowed to go into the facilities, guess who were getting patients referrals still? We were because we were still doing online marketing. And Facebook is potentially one of the biggest things that you guys should actually join. Now, like I said, you can have us do your Facebook marketing for you, right? And we can definitely do that, right? We Our programs starts off at $700 a month uh, for us to do the services for you as long as there's a minimum fee of the minimum type of ad spend that you're going to do. Or number two, you go ahead and learn. And the truth is, this is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be launching a Facebook marketing program course just meant so that you can learn how to do Facebook marketing so you can see some of the strategies that we're doing. We're going to be launching that somewhere in the middle of 2021. So please stay tuned for that. And actually, if it's still not in our website, contact us by the time you watch this video and we'll definitely share the stuff with you guys. It's gonna detail how to use the ads manager. It's gonna show you guys how to create the post. It's gonna show you guys how to be able to find out what type of topics you should be discussing to be able to put in the ads, right? That's just Facebook marketing. Now, let's say for example, you just need somebody to create content, create videos, uh, create posts for you guys. We actually do that and we can do the posts for you. You know, we charge actually starting at $299 a month. We'll do all the postings for you. You're gonna receive three posts a day pretty much for your website. That's something that we can do and it starts at $299 pretty much um, a month. We'll handle the, the daily posts. We'll take care of that for you guys and that's gonna be beneficial for you guys as well. So start looking into Facebook marketing, you know, because like I said, this thing right here has produced 17% of our referrals for our non-medical private duty home care companies. It is an important thing that you guys can do. But guess what? You can also do Facebook um, advertising when it comes to medical home health agencies, but it's a whole different strategy. You can't target the patient directly. You have to just target the certain uh, other, the referral sources just to be able to brand your company. But with non-medical, we can target the patients directly or their family members because we don't need to have a referral coming in from a physician. So start Facebook marketing. And if you haven't yet, then you guys need to jump into it as soon as possible because the companies that are using Facebook to be able to get more patients are the one that's winning and you are missing out on a lot of these particular patients. So pretty much that ends this particular video. Make sure if you want to watch and you want to take our training our Facebook marketing training program that we're gonna be releasing, please make sure you contact us so we can add you to the list to be able to notify you once that program gets launched in the middle of 2021. So once again, thank you so much, guys. Make sure you pay attention to the other videos in this video series. All I can say is one thing, that home health marketing is easy if you know what you are doing.